Now we're just off the pitch, obviously, the Torquay. Um, like I just said, the ring was just now a hard fought point, but a well deserved point. Yeah, I think I won't be the only manager that says it, but to come to Torquay in front of nearly 4,000 people and against a full time football team that's doing really well and got a new lease of life this year and have recruited really well for us to come and get a point is really important. and won't get carried away but I think that's a real good point away from home and I think the way we went about it and I think in all honesty we probably lost to a bit of a fluke haven't we that's just a bit of a ricochet that's flexed and looped in the corner and I can't really remember our keeper making many saves after maybe one in the first half he made a good save with his foot but I think we've been credit for our draw and, and had to hang on a little bit at the end and it was backs to the wall for the last couple of minutes but we spoke about that and there'd be moments and you know really proud of the boys you know it's in, like I say not important that we don't get carried away but you know it's an ably performance today and I think that's what we want to try and do and if we can bottle that up and keep that going and that's the challenge not to drop in and out of performances and I think last week wasn't good enough but I think today showed a real good response from that group of players. I mean in regards to uh, obviously the season so far as I said the same to Jason just now it's probably the best performance even though it's up a point but solid workmanlike and obviously like you said the ably way that we did last year yeah i think so i think so i think we've got a couple of new boys that we've thrown in one hasn't played a lot of football hasn't played any football since pre-season and others that are trying to find a bit of form and i think some of them found that today and much better in their performances can we do more yeah i think we can i think we can be better than that as well but yeah i think it was a digging in performance but also think it had a bit of quality at times and thought we caused them a few problems from the long throw and set pieces and it would have taken a little bit more care at times in that final third where it could have created a few more opportunities but that's something we need to work on but like I said I think that's probably a, a hungry performance and a hard work that's the bare minimum that we demand obviously a long trip down for us but the same for the supporters as well um, small band today but obviously loud again yeah credit to them I know some come up yesterday and that costs money doesn't it it's a nice weekend away and a, a night away and, that, and that, that's good but we know it costs money and it's not always easy to find that money but they did it and you know we were well outnumbered today in terms of fans but you could hear them and I thought there was a period in the second half in the first half and the second half where I could hear our fans and couldn't hear their fans and that's what we told the players we needed to try and get to that moment and I think we can take credit for doing that and you know they back us all the way and probably haven't had a lot to cheer about this season in terms of free-flowing football but I think they probably can see what we're about today in terms of that performance and the energy that we showed and, and that's all they ask and all I ask really so I think collectively supporters, players, management team I think we, we stepped up today and we've got to bottled it up and, and do it again that's the challenge. I mean, obviously we've come here now two, two seasons running and had two goals that were sort of excellent finishes one from Vaz last year and a great free kick from Maddox this year yeah. uh, to take two points but like I said another great finish for him. Yeah, great finish. Yeah, I thought he was really good, Alex. I thought that was the Alex Hernandez that we, we had in the team and in the side before he got his injury. And I'll be honest, I think he struggled so far to get back to his form and his rhythm. And unfortunately, he hasn't had a lot of game time to do that. But I felt it was the right day today for Alex. I felt we needed that. You know, I don't think many teams would come to, after losing four on the bounce, is it, or three on the bounce, and come to Torquay and play 4 4 2 with two centre forwards. But we felt that was right. And I felt I could get a performance out of Alex. And all credit to him. I thought he was excellent in terms of his use of the ball and his hunger and caused them loads of problems in that sort of striker and uh, number 10 role. Um, obviously we go home now and then we play talking on Monday night, another difficult task. Yeah, real big challenge, yeah. We said before the weekend it don't get easier and full-time football teams in this division is quite a few now and there's some that are hybrid which is, gives them extra time and you know we had an hour and a half on Thursday night to try and work on, on what we wanted to do and work on the bad bits from Slough as well and try and improve them as well. So it's a real tough division and I think we have to be honest about that. And. Um, but if we give everything we got and we fight, then we can cause people problems. And, and that has to be the challenge. And we know Dawkins have probably got the best squad in the league and the best team in the league. And they're probably going to win the league uh, by all accounts. So it'll be up to us to go and have a real good challenge and make it hard for them when they come to us on Monday. Cheers, Dan. And just the last question, like I asked Ringo as well, did you get any Oasis tickets this morning? No, 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 I didn't. No, yeah. I, I, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Oasis, which is probably going to go down like a real lead balloon to people. A bit, so uh, I don't really like music. I only like football. <laughs> it's a bit boring, really. So, and uh, yeah, I said to the boys if they if they won today, I'd buy them all Oasis tickets, but they couldn't quite get there. So, <laughs> cheers, Dan. See you Thank you.